Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will try to learn about the another route guard that is nothing but can match route guard. So what does this can match route guard will do? I will try to explain you this briefly about this can match thing. So it is somewhat uh, uh, important, not important. So just you need to understand the difference between the can match and also can activate, can activate shield. The can match route guard in Angular 18 is used to control whether a route should be loaded based on certain conditions or not. So here the can match route guard when we will be using whether the route should be existing or not if you want to uh, consider means then we will be using this can match. So unlike if you are having a can activate a can activate child what it will try to do it will control the access to the routes. It will tell you that whether you so that means the route will be existing but you but it can activate and can activate child will tell that whether the route will ha you have an access or not it will try to do it. Whereas can match specifically determines if a root should be matched made available in the root or not so that means if the root exists in the root or not can match will try to so that means if the can match returns false means that root will not exist or otherwise in can activate can activate if returns false means the root the root is existing but you don't have access to that root so that is the main difference between can match and also a can activate thing this guard is particularly useful for scenarios where you want to dynamically include or exclude roots based on a criteria such as user roles, feature flags or app state. So that means if you want to dynamically include or exclude these roots means then you will be trying to use this user role or feature flag then you will be using this can match thing. Okay. I will try to explain you as a simple scenario how you will be trying to do it. So for this one what I will try to do it is so I will have a something like uh, <clears throat> let's exist that. So we are having an auth service. So here you can have a dynamically something like that. So let's say that I will be having a private user role is equal to I can use a signal also so I signal of admin so this means this dynamically if you want to exist you can you can check it this one so now here um, get user role so I can use the get user role method so I can have a get user role and here I can return this dot role that's it user role okay or otherwise I can have a simple role like this and I can send this this dot rule. So this is the method which we which I would try to explain. So that's it. So now if you want to use the can match means so normally let's go to the app dot routes file so that we can have a clear understanding about this one. So in the app dot routes file let's say that we are having a hero component. Okay. So if I try to open here and if I try to open this hero component so we are able to see that this route is existing. So now I want to add a can match to this one. So that means if the can match function route guard returns true means this route will exist or otherwise this route will not exist. So let's try to see. So for this one what I will try to do is in the services. So here I will try to do admin can match. Okay. You can use whatever the name you want. Admin can match dot ts file. So here I will use export constant admin can match and it is of type can match function okay and here this you will be having a method and here i will try to take the auth service is equal to inject of auth service so now here uh, i will try to take take the user rule user rule auth service dot get user rule and here i will try to read uh, user rule is equal to is equal to admin that's it so now this one will return the true. So now if I want to use it this one in our app.route.es. So here I will try to use it. So here can match. I can use directly can match. And here I will use the method that is nothing but admin can match. That's it. So now if I try to press he slash hero this one. So it is existing. Why? Because so here we are returning the true. Now what I will try. Okay admin. So now if I try to like this means. So now if you try to see slash hero. So you are trying to use the slash hero the root is existing here only but it is telling that the page not found so that means that root itself doesn't exist but when I try to use it in a can activate thing okay if I try to use it in a can activate thing then if you try to uh, press slash hero so it will directly redirect to some other place that uh, nothing but another page so this is this means here the root is existing but you don't have an access but here can match will try to show in such a way that uh, try to behave in such a way that the root itself doesn't exist. Okay. So that is how you will be trying to have. So this root itself doesn't exist. It will try to 
show that you will be existing in that route but it will tell that page doesn't exist so this is the difference between the can match and also an can activate thing so what is the difference main difference between this one is so now i will try to explain you about the can match so what it will try to do it uh, i will let's go into this one yeah so main difference between can match so first one is can match so now can match determines if a route should match in the router especially controlling the route availability whereas the can activate so what does this can activate will do controls if a route can be activated whether the component can be loaded and viewed that is one thing and another one is the can match what it will try to do is it prevents the routes from matching in the route altogether if the conditions are not met so if i try to show you here prevents route from matching in the router altogether if the conditions are not met whereas the route uh, can activate route still exists in the route configuration but users are redirected if they can't activate it that's the thing so where we will be using this on application use so it will be can match is ideal, ideal for dynamic routing needs like feature flags or role based display of routes so like this this application use can match will be used where we will be using typically the can activate is so you will be trying to understand typically used for authentication authorization or other <coughs> access check you will be using it and god execution so if you want to execute this god means when you will be trying to execute the can match thing only runs when angular evaluates available routes that is the first match attempt so this one the first match attempt only it will try to check so now here the first time only it will check so now here runs when the route is being activated such as after clicking a link or typing the url so every time so this one it will run at the first time only so now the another one which i want to tell you is routes with can match so routes with can match failing conditions won't show up as matching links so whereas can activate thing if you try to observe carefully routes still show as accessible links but may be redirected if blocked so use cases where we will be using this one so conditional visibility of routes example platform based restrictions role based menus in, the, in those scenarios we will be using this can match route guard and we will be using this uh, can activate thing is access control to routes after initial route matching like example restricting access to the logged in users like this so when to use when to use each one so here i will try to explain you can match use this guard when you need to conditionally make a route available in the router based on dynamic factors like user roles feature flags or device types it is helpful for scenarios where routes should not even appear as accessible if they do not meet certain criteria use this guard to control whether a route can be entered after it has been matched it's ideal for handling access control based on authentication authorization or any checks that need to happen before a user enters the routes component so that is the thing and example use case scenarios which i want to tell you is so can match and also the this one so clearly so can match where we will be using this example you only display certain routes if a feature flag is enabled show admin routes only if the user role matches admin display mobile only routes for mobile devices and when we will be using this can activate is block access to certain routes if a user is not logged in restrict certain routes to users with specific permissions show error page or redirect users if they don't meet criteria to view the route so these are the different situ situations where we will be using in summary what i want to tell you is use can match when you want to control the route availability in the router and can activate when you want to control whether a route route can be navigated to after being matched so this is all about the can match route guard hope you understood about this concept and also the example also i have shown you with clear example if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you